In this video, uh, I'll take the opportunity to answer this comment that I found on YouTube video uh, Python 14 where we've rounded a number to zero, one, or two decimal places using the round function. The round function actually rounds the number to the nearest decimal point. But the question says, what if they've got this value, for example, and they actually want to say display this number to three decimal places. They only want uh, that three decimal points to be displayed without the value being rounded off, uh, if I've understood correctly. But this is what I've got in mind. So let me just run this program and show you what we get. So we have this value. This is exact the exact same value that was given in the example in the video. And let's just say this has been rounded to three decimal places. So it's uh, 99. So let me just copy the value. So this is what we get. So let's put it in a comment like that. Now what we want to do is the rounding here is actually rounded six. Um, so 0.995 became 0.996. Uh, but what if we want to, what if we didn't want it to round the number? Uh, so we basically want that to remain as five and not be rounded. Um, I, I dot E. Okay. So let's just say that's what we plan to do. So the, what I've got in mind is let's convert this number to a string. So we can call this variable uh, value string. So it's the exact value of this, but we want to convert it into a string using the string function. And we can just print out that value just for our, just for debugging purposes and see what we are getting. Uh, so value string, sorry, um, that should have been just value. Okay, so now what we have is this is just being printed out as plain text. Now what we want to do is we want to get the index location of this dot. Okay, so we because this is actually a string, we can access the index method, which takes in whatever you're trying to search for. So I'm searching for, let's say, the dot. I'd like to find the index of the dot in that given uh, string. And so this is going to return an integer, which I'd like to store in a variable called index. Let's print out this index and see what we're getting. Let's print it out. So I'm getting the value 2 because this, this is actually located at index 0. Uh, sorry, 2. So this is 0, 1, 2. So what we want to do is actually just print the string from the beginning all the way to, uh, you know, whatever wherever you would like to specify after the dot. So if I wanted to actually print it up to this point, then I would say uh, print from zero till the end. Um, no, wait, hold on a second. So to the index plus whatever decimal places you like. OK, so let me show you what I mean. Let's print it out. So the value string, that value string, I would like to print that from the beginning of the string to um, the index. So if I like three decimal places, so I wouldn't say plus three, I'll say plus four because that last value is not included. So let's just print it out. And so now I'm getting that value uh, 995. If I add another decimal point, like say, um, sorry, another digit. So this should actually still print this whole number like this, which is what we're getting there. I hope this helps. But just remember what we actually did is we found out the location of the dot. So this will work with whatever uh, values I have. So it will still print three digits um, after the dot because we've specified it here. And uh, remember we said plus four because we don't include the last. The last index is not part of the slice, the slicing that is happening here. Whereas the first one is actually part of it. Um, yes, yeah, so I hope this helps you and I'll see you in the coming ones.